Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need Explosive Ordnance Disposal Technicians undertake some of the U.S. Air Force's most dangerous missions by mitigating the hazards of explosive materials and other weapons. Here at Nellis, the 99th Civil Engineer Squadron successfully completed EOD Day as the Air Force Base supremely safeguards America and all of our allies from any and all potential threats. We really want to throw our guys uh, kind of a curveball, if you will, and uh, let them kind of figure out how they're going to deal with the situation out there. So we're going to be placing a couple of these landmines out here. The three phases of a radar are RADA, which is the Rapid Airfield Damage Assessment. Our EOD teams go out with engineering assistance and survey the runway and look for damage. The second phase is REM, which is Rapid Explosive Hazard Mitigation. EOD technicians swiftly and safely disposed of and or removed unexploded ordnance items. For phase three, we have the RADAR, so Rapid Airfield Damage Recovery. And that's the phase where we take account for all the damage that was done and assessed in the prior phases and repairing them as fast as possible. Flexo is unexploded ordnance, so submunitions, things like a grenade with the spoon off that just didn't explode. They're just sitting out in the open. EOD Day offers new ways to develop fresh tactics, training, and procedures. The roll pull is an uh, essential technique that we use essentially to remotely move or jar an item in an unknown condition. To clear a runway, if it's saturated with submunitions, place a small counter charge next to it. This exercise gives our folks a great opportunity to practice in the joint environment. So the exercise we did impacts our readiness because we're practicing with realistic loadouts of equipment and realistic dis distances, which is going to dictate um, a lot of logistics about how we fight and how we respond. The training exercise took about 12 months worth of planning. There's going to be new ordnance encountered and there's going to be uh, known ordnance encountered. As far as like most hazardous, encountering things that we aren't familiar with is always a hazard. This was very much like an initial phase of training. As far as uh, training value, it's huge success and uh, data collected. Um, these types of exercises are the best thing we can do. On behalf of everyone here at KPVM Television, thank you so much for your service. Proudly reporting from Nellis Air Force Base, I'm Maria Centers with News 25 Las Vegas.